Hi, I'm Rodney. I'm going to walk you through making a camera mount for my camera so I can mount it up here instead of on the shelf where it's taking up space. I started the design process by first uh, taking some measurements. Followed by that, I put everything into CAD, getting everything ready for 3D printing. Here I'm using a file to knock off all the high spots and try and make a nice smooth finish. I also uh, primed it and then followed that up with some more sanding with the goal of uh, having the product when I pulled it out of the mold have a decent surface finish. Here we have the silicone. It's a 10-1 mix by weight. That's why I have it on the scale there. Despite what I thought was thorough mixing, the silicone mold ended up not setting up properly where it was in contact with the 3D print or the form, rendering all the extra prep from priming and sanding useless. This is my attempt at a makeshift injection mold. Unfortunately, I had a slightly uneven surface and the straw wasn't at the highest point. This caused me to end up with a little bit of air bubble. You can see it on the right there. I gave up on the injection molding idea and just ended up pouring into a couple of the molds here. You can still see the would-be sprue from where I cut out the piece of the uh, mold. To get a decent surface finish like I was after, I just decided to run an end mill over it to square up the faces and I needed to drill the holes for the camera mount and for the hinge while I was here as well. A little more sanding just to get the end mill marks off there and I think I'll call it good. So I've gotten everything assembled. Um, I put this quarter 20 through, screw through so it can attach onto the bottom of here. Uh, I've drilled the holes and countersunk them. All there's left to do is uh, mount it on the wall and see if it works. Mission accomplished. It's off the shelf not taking up space anymore and it's tilted at an angle so it can overlook my whole room.